So I am currently live on Twitch, TikTok, I'm everywhere at the moment, and I don't even have a thousand followers on TikTok, yet I am streaming to TikTok through OBS. This is crazy. I'm using a key to stream, and I don't have any of the requirements. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. First things first, you need to install uh, Streamlabs, all right? You just need to install Streamlabs desktop. Just just do it. I know we've been through it on my channel. Just down, download it. And you'll also need this cheeky little tool just here. I'm going to leave all the links in the description, so don't worry about that. This is the Streamlabs TikTok Stream Key Generator um, by Lucius. And you just hit releases just here, and you'll be able to download the latest one just there. It looks like it's available from, from Mac and uh, Windows. Obviously, I've only used the Windows version because that's what I stream on. So you'll download that. Once you've got that installed, so install your Streamlabs desktop, and then you'll have to open Streamlabs desktop. Once you've got Streamlabs desktop installed, you just need to make sure you get logged in to TikTok. So you just log into TikTok on, on this and that's it, you're all good to go. So you'll be able to press the login button and log into your TikTok. Once that's done, you can close down Streamlabs desktop. Then all you need to do is open the other EXE that you downloaded, which is called Streamlabs TikTok Stream Key Generator Release EXE. Open it up. Uh, your PC might say that it's a virus or something like that. I've not had any issues. It's open source code. You can go and look at the code and everything like that, which is really cool. Um, all you need to do is leave this as default up here, put in your stream title, put what game you're playing. I just set mine to live because I normally talk about live stuff. Press go live and then what will happen is I'm going to do a blue Peter on you here. Here's one I made earlier. When you press go live, it will create a stream URL and a stream key just here. What you do is press copy URL and then in your streaming software, whichever you're wanting to use, so then once you've got OBS open, you can jump into whatever system you use for streaming or restreaming or whatever you want to do. I'm going to use Atom Multistream just here. And what we could do is press the settings button, go to vertical canvas, and we can add in a new output. Press TikTok. All we need to do then is copy that URL, stick that into TikTok server, copy the stream key, paste it into the stream key there. So we press create output. And we can scroll down and you'll be able to look at all your output settings that you just set up and your advanced settings to see what video settings and etc you want to use. Press OK and you'll see TikTok has appeared down here. When we press the go live button, this sets everything up on TikTok's end, which you can monitor if you press open live monitor. And this will show you what's happening inside of TikTok and it'll say that you're live, but you're not actually sending a broadcast at the moment. It'll just say you're live. And then what you can do is press this little button here and boom, you are live on TikTok. There are a few limitations with this because you will need to generate a new key every single time that you stream to TikTok. So once you've finished, you press end live. I'm not going to do that because it will end my stream right now. Uh, and then when it comes to creating another one, when you press go live, these will be a new stream key. So that's why it didn't matter that I showed you what that stream key was because it's going to be a new one next time. Uh, and then once you're done, you can press save config if you want to auto remember these little settings that you've got set up and that's it. You're all streaming to TikTok, you're streaming wherever you want to stream and you don't even need to like have all the fancy stuff. If this video helped you, like it, comment and also put your rug over the stone. Come and visit me live and ask me any questions you want.